Kevin is from the book uh, department or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. You're from the radio department. I'm from the radio department. Mm-hmm. I'm from lingerie. Really? Mm-hmm. That's well, not it's on a, the mezzanine. It's not appealing at all. No. How do I get a job there? Uh, you have to apply. To you or no? Was there a? Did they screen you at all, Pat? Because I don't no, think that you. Would, I don't think so. I don't think I'd want you anywhere near <laughs> lingerie. To be perfectly honest with you, that's. I'm sorry. That's just the department I wound up in. I don't. I don't know. So. Well, we'll get your story on bras coming up here in yeah, just a okay. moment, uh, right. Kevin. Uh, the the book comes out tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, it does. I know that because what book is we, it? It's called Broke. Broke. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. and we. I know that because we told the audience about it 511 times today. Uh, was that enough promotion or uh, apparently not? Because um, we're talking about it again. He, he, yeah, mm-hmm. and Kevin is actually Wait, five five hundred and eleven total, or that's the J- just hour. Today. Just to, no, yeah, total. That's is that not yeah, enough? Yeah, it was pretty bad, pretty lame today. Mm. It's awful. Yeah. Wow. Sorry, sorry, Kevin. Because I know we know that there's there's a serious promotion question when Kevin actually meanders down to the studio. Yes. He used to come in all the time when he cared mm-hmm. about the content. Mm-hmm. No. Now it's Doesn't just care. when there's promotion going on. Doesn't he comes care. Down. All right, so what is it? Well, What's we talked this? about this. I, I feel like we're always asking and asking of people to do stuff for us, i.e. Uh-huh. buy books, and we never give back. Uh-huh. So we came up with the idea last week of how could we give back to the radio audience, specifically the insiders. Um, and we solicited the staff for ideas. Mm-hmm. And what we came up with was, let's put a poll out on Facebook where if we can get broke to a certain sales number that's reasonable, um, then we will provide them with some um, a little bit of entertainment. Uh, i.e. embarrassment of staff members on video. And so staff members all How submitted in there. Oh, no, dude, I've got the mic. So staff members all, <laughs> all, submitted, all submitted ideas. Okay. Um, I've yeah. narrowed those down to eight. The reason I'm here is that I'd say six of them involve you, Stu. <laughs> Why uh, do they involve me? Uh, and your personal embarrassment caught on camera. Uh, <laughs> I think one, that's an excellent idea. That's one involves idea. Like Pat. That. No, yes. and Jeffy. <laughs> yeah. I want to hear that one. Uh, and mm. one or two involve Glenn, so I'll have to get those passed later. But Stu, I just wanted to pitch some of these to you and just rubber stamp them and make sure we're cool okay. before I put this up because Kelly's about to press the uh, the go button. Okay. Okay. So, um, idea number one: uh, Stu reprises his role as Linda Douglas, including dress and voice for one like entire that. radio program. <laughs> mm-hmm. That one works. I great. like that. Perfect. That's a good yeah. one. Like, okay. That's a good one. You right. get, are uh-huh. you good with that, Stu? Mm-hmm. Oh, how could I not be good with that one? Cross dressing sounds fantastic. Because that's probably the easiest one. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> okay, then maybe I will endorse that one. All okay. right, what else? Uh, okay, the Glenn one would be number two. Glenn works from an intern cube from an entire day, besides broadcast time. Okay, interns use Glenn's office. Um, and <laughs> I should mention any of these things that we choose, we would ta- we would bring in a crew, tape it so you'd actually see it all day, and then put it on you know free video so mm-hmm. you could see the you'll get the actual reward. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, number three. This is this is I love this one. Uh, Stu goes to Barnes and Noble here in New York City and can't leave until he can personally convince five strangers to buy a copy of Broke with their own money. <laughs> Love it. I like that a lot. <laughs> That's funny. That's in good. New York City, that could take days. It yeah, could. it could. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, this uh, Pat and Jeffy, uh, you guys mm-hmm. ready? Mm-hmm. Stu, Pat, Jeffy, and Czar at Large, Brian Sack, all do a polar bear plunge together this winter. <laughs> I don't like that. No. Love that one. Wow. That one's out completely. Why Love is that, that out? One. That's out. Because you just don't care about the future of America? or Mm -hmm. I don't. I guess, though, with global warming, it's probably going to be a nice temperature. It's probably going to be 80. Yeah. The water should be fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. It's not even a challenge. That's why. Okay. Oh, yeah. (laughs) He wants more of a challenge, Kevin. Can you provide one? Sure. (laughs) Stu and Pat tandem Mm -hmm. skydive live on air. Oh, yeah. That's going to happen. All right. No, No, that one actually is Stu skydives live live on air. Oh, okay. I could skydive. I I would do that. I could handle that. Yeah. I mean, you know, what? What? What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? I mean, it's not like there's like a. Uh, oh, there's not like there's some crazy force drawing us towards the earth. No, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I mean that sounds mm-hmm. like a. That sounds like a crazy idea. Yeah. I mean, the bottom line is, you get close to the earth, and then you'll you're hurtling slowly... toward the earth, and I mean, what, what's the worst that could happen? Right. There's not like a pull that would mm-hmm. pull you towards the earth mm-hmm. that would make that an uncomfortable situation. No. I mean, way. if you if you, if the chute doesn't open, you just land softly. You land. <laughs> boom. Why do you even need the chute? No. You just. No one knows. That's just a. Science if you land on thing. your feet, everything's fine, right? I think so. I think so. That's what I understand. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. What's the next well, one? Well, this one's not on here, but what about Stu skydives live on air and Glenn packs his chute? <laughs> no, that, why, that okay. will not uh, be part of not. that one. No. No. Okay. Stu wears a broke sandwich board uh, for an hour in Times Square, annoyingly quizzing tourists on facts from the book. I like that. <laughs> That's good. good. That's yeah. Why mm-hmm. are all these things going to end in me getting shot? Stu is Glenn's assistant for a full day 
Includes getting him lunch, taking his calls, ironing his wardrobe, etc. Totally different than my regular work day. <laughs> I can't see. Uh, that's so crazy and out of, I can't even think of what that would be like. That one seems a lot different than every day of my life for the past decade. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I said it. Mm-hmm. 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 Is there uh, any more? Is there I have a feeling that if that if that were to be the winner, that Glenn might make that day a little more difficult than uh, his typical day. Yeah, for that his wouldn't assistant. surprise me. No, that would not. Would not surprise me. All right, and is that all of them? Uh, and then the last one is uh, Glenn goes back on the View. <laughs> <laughs> that one is not going to happen. I can promise no, you. That will not happen. Mainly because uh, Whoopi would walk out before she. Whoopi and Joy would walk out before he even showed up. The fourth hour with Pat and Stu, every day at noon Eastern. Only on Insider Extreme. Sign up today.